Welcome everyone to Innovation Day. As the name suggests, today is about innovation. Here at Automation Anywhere, we've been working with our customers since 2003 to help break down silos in the front office, the back office, and every office. You'll hear today how we're reducing friction more and more in the enterprise, and how we're making automation accessible to everyone through a breakthrough announcement from our CEO. We'll highlight the technology making the promise of the digital enterprise truly come to life. After this brief keynote, you'll have access to product and solution spotlight sessions that go under the hood to give you insight on the very latest technology in the industry. With that, here's our CEO, Mihir Shukla. Hello and welcome to Innovation Day. Wherever you happen to be in the world, I hope you and your loved ones are healthy and safe. It is a pleasure to have you with us. When I spoke with you in June at our Imagine Digital Experience, the pandemic was unfolding and the impact to our businesses was still unclear. Now in October, the impact has been abundantly clear. For many, the impact has been severe. But for the most efficiently run businesses, the impact has been far less dramatic. Businesses with a strong forward-looking digital strategy have demonstrated an uncommon resilience. If your business is resilient during the most challenging times, just imagine its potential to thrive in the post-COVID world. As I have spoken with business leaders throughout the world, Many have told me that they are accelerating their 2022 or even 2025 digital strategies to become more resilient. And that brings us to Innovation Day. More than any other factor in business technology, companies value innovation the most. It is one of the most important reasons why customers choose automation anywhere. And the reason is that the right innovation at the right time has the power to impact our lives in such meaningful ways. And it is one of my favorite part of leading a technology company. And if there were ever a perfect time to help companies drive greater efficiency, more predictability, dramatically changing the way we work, that time is now. I'm very pleased to introduce you to some of our most compelling innovations today. If you think about it, at its core, automation is really designed to remove friction. Whether it is used to rapidly accelerate business processes in the back office, or help customer service agents serve customers faster and more efficiently in the front office. RPA is about eliminating the technology silos common in nearly all enterprises. And with AI and RPA, Automation Anywhere enables you to bridge this complex automation gaps, unlike anything we have seen before. Automation Anywhere can help you automate all your front office processes. It can help you automate all your back office processes, connecting both of them to employee productivity tools. This truly transforms what Gartner calls the patchwork quilt of technology silos into a process environment that is completely automated. This is a true digital enterprise. And a digital enterprise is vastly more resilient enterprise. About this time last year, we introduced you to what is still today the only cloud native RPA platform. A platform that allows you to create a bot in four minutes or less. I'm pleased to say that so many of you have accelerated your automation journey using our enterprise A2019 platform, creating more bots faster in the last six months than ever before. Today, we are taking innovations even further. When we founded Automation Anywhere, we built it on a singular vision to make automation accessible to everyone, not just for programmers or developers, but to everyone. 
our customers have found that more you automate, the more competitive, more efficient, and more productive you become. Now, extending the promise of automation to everyone seems like a dream. How can you accomplish that? We have observed a fascinating difference between our life at work versus our life at home. Even if you, like many of us, work from home during the pandemic, you have vastly different experiences between the two worlds. At home, you have digital assistants to play music, find a recipe, and turn off the heat. These digital assistants are so easy to use with a simple voice command that more and more people are buying them to reduce the friction of the simplest of tasks at home. But at work, you are somehow transported back to 1995. Thousands of emails, charts, virtual paperwork, manual processes that require constant human intervention. And especially in a time like today, when you have to do many of this remotely, it is more complicated than ever. That begs the question, what if you had a digital assistant at work? your own personal robot to help you with your work, creating expense reports, finding and updating customer information, or closing the quarterly books in finance. It is in the spirit of our original vision that I have the pleasure of introducing to you today, ARI. ARI stands for Automation Anywhere Robotic Interface. It is your digital assistant at work. It can help you in the front office, the back office, and any office. Take a look at what Ari can do. We all have digital assistants at home, but why not one at work? Introducing the Automation Anywhere robotic interface, Ari. Now it's easy for every employee to trigger and interact with all the Automation Anywhere bots in your enterprise. It's your digital assistant at work. So what can you do with Ari? Simplify everyday tasks like reporting and staying on top of urgent requests. Collaborate easily with colleagues, applications, and bots. Automate escalations and approvals to speed up even the most complex requests. And increase customer satisfaction with improved handle times and faster call resolution. Now, every employee can tap into the power of automation. Ari leverages your secure and always-on RPA bots for unprecedented scale in intelligent automation. Ari is currently available on the web, on mobile, desktop, and coming soon to voice. Visit ari.com for more. Ari enables anyone in the enterprise to automate the simplest or even the most complex task, connect people, processes, and technology. And it is available to you the way you want to work, on your desktop, mobile, apps, or voice. Ari changes the game in automation. It helps realize the vision of making automation accessible to everyone. It transports your company into the 21st century and transforms your business into a truly digital enterprise. You can take Ari with you anywhere. And because it is your digital assistant at work, it is working for you anytime, all the time. Ari can be configured to automate any task and it scales seamlessly across your organization. Every person in your organization can have their own digital assistant, making them more productive than any other time in human history. 
We have worked for years to remove the friction from automation so that people can do what they do best at work. Creative problem solving, engaging closely with customers, while bots do what they do well. Automate, automate, automate. Ari is another game changer from Automation Anywhere. It is another Automation Anywhere first. It is a breakthrough in delivering frictionless automation throughout your enterprise. It represents a dramatic departure from any other automation technology available today. With Enterprise A2019, anyone, anyone in the company who wishes to create a bot can create a bot. Now with Ari, everyone, everyone can work with bots. A lots of bots, fully governed of course. fortifies our commitment to you in doing everything we can to help you become a more productive, more efficient, more resilient enterprise. Today, you will see how Ari comes to life in the back office, the front office, and every office. I am reminded of an enduring expression in car racing that winners accelerate through the turns. For many of us, our businesses are growing through some challenging twists and turns, and we must accelerate as well. We must resist the temptation to hesitate, knowing that the momentum we need is impossible to rebuild if we miss the opportunity to move forward in this moment, right now. This is the opportunity to accelerate, to move forward with an unrelenting conviction, with a clear vision of what we must achieve today if we are to build a better, more resilient business that will see us through the challenges of the future. We have much more for you during the Innovation Day. We are so pleased to have you with us. Enjoy the sessions we have planned for you. And above all else, stay healthy and safe. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. I think you'll agree that was an amazing announcement from Mihir. What it really captured was the essence of making automation accessible to everyone. Now, the rest of our keynote is going to be dedicated to breaking that down for you. And with me, is Rajesh Radhakrishnan, Executive Vice President of Solution Sales. Rajesh, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Kevin. Real pleasure to be here. So one of the things uh, I'd love to get from you, Rajesh, is you, know, you talk to customers every day, but you know, really the significance of this announcement was really around this notion of it being accessible to everyone. And what we found, certainly as you talk to customers and I, and I talk to customers, is that most customers see about 10% of the population using automation in some way. And with Ari, what we have is the opportunity to really increase that in the enterprise so that everybody in a role within any department can actually put automation to work for them. What are you hearing? Kevin, that, that is really what makes Ari so exciting. It gives the center of excellence the opportunity to create a digital assistant for work groups of business users. So now you can have a work group which is actually working directly with bots through an interface that is very simple. One of our banking customers created a wealth management digital assistant. So this team was actually in a very difficult situation. They were updating addresses in one application. They were updating portfolios in a different application. And then they had to send out an email to their customers telling them what the changes were to their portfolio. A lot of work for business users to do working across different applications. What the Center of Excellence did is they configured RA and they created a single digital assistant and this business user team now has a web-based solution where they click a few bots directly and they're able to simplify their entire work and their engagement with their customers. Very powerful solution. And you know, I see this being applicable in so many other customers as we go along here. Yeah, speaking of that, I mean, the applicability to other customers and departments and use cases is phenomenal. One of the things that we talk to customers about more and more is how to make the lives of customer service agents or contact center agents, 
uh, just a lot easier day to day. There's a lot of pressure on those agents. Day to day, they have to switch between a number of applications. They're talking live to customers and they really want to do a great job, but sometimes the technology keeps them from doing that. So right now we're going to hear from Ritu Kapoor and she's going to tell us about how Ari in the contact center can really help out. Ritu, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Ritu Kapoor and today we are very excited to showcase Ari for you. Ari is your digital assistant at work. It makes automation simple by adapting RPA to your way of working, from the apps you live in, from the devices you're most comfortable with. Ari gives the robust, secure, always on RPA, a layer of simplicity that appeals to everyone and makes RPA accessible to everyone. Ari fast tracks the ROI for both simpler tasks like data entry to complex approvals, escalations, and exceptions. Let's now look at how Ari can help you transform your front office. Now, automation is not a new tool for front office teams. The industry has seen numerous benefits from automated offerings like chatbots and IVRs, but most front offices still deal with siloed systems and manual error-prone work. After call work takes a long time, and so do processes involving escalations and exceptions. Now in this example, the agent puts the customer on hold while she looks for data from these multiple legacy, modern, or custom systems of record. She also updates these systems manually before ending the call, and she manually escalates any unsolved issues to supporting teams. Not a great example of employee or customer satisfaction. Now, RPA is perfectly suited for these processes with repeatable and predictable interactions with applications. And with Ari, work becomes seamless for the agent. Ari grabs all the data the agent needs before the call. Ari runs processes during the call. And Ari manages updates to the systems after the call without the agent having to toggle between multiple applications and perform repetitive work. The agent may not even realize how the repetitive tasks that she previously carried out are being automated, how many bots are running, what exactly they're doing. She doesn't need to. She continues with her process, knowing her digital assistant has her back while she concentrates on her job to provide that best customer experience for her client. And to showcase Ari's many advantages in the front office, I'd like to invite Manish Pandya. Manish leads the Digital Transformation Initiative at Taskas, and he has implemented Automation Anywhere in the front offices of many of his clients, with off-the-charts ROI and productivity gains. He's joining us today to talk about the value Automation Anywhere brings to his clients. Manish, over to you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to present Ari with you today. My role at Taskas is focused on improving frontline experience, including employee productivity and customer satisfaction. Like you said, Ritu, my team has implemented Automation Anywhere Enterprise Cloud and RE at various customer locations. One of the implementations that I want to highlight is a client that we service in San Antonio. As part of a value proposition to our clients, we constantly look for ways to improve efficiency and productivity. RE was very well received by our customer. Within a month, we were able to develop and deploy RE to demonstrate value in many ways. First, we were able to replace switching between multiple systems by performing lookups in the systems and providing the agents a singular view with verified information, eliminating manual information search and repetitive tasks that would otherwise have led to compliance issues. The time spent between digital transactions was also reduced. RE also helped create customizable case summary notes after the process was completed. This helped the agents to go to the next transaction without worrying about updating systems manually a huge benefit in overall ROI. The other big benefit was contextual automation. The solution also provides next step guidance to our agents. This helped us reduce training cost and increase quality of the transaction with zero compliance fails. More specifically, RE pulled context specific knowledge articles for agents, in this case for payment schedules. And what our internal and external customers appreciate the most was Automation Anywhere's ease of deployment and need for minimal training and resources to get started. This combined with the ease of use of the solution makes it a much better time to value than all other automation tools. As a result, AHT was reduced by 20 seconds per call, almost a 10% improvement. 
CSAT went up by 3.4%, and so did our transaction quality matrix by 2.7. The best part of our solution is the effect it has on agents that may not have been successful in the past. I remember our operations highlighting the experience of one of the agents in San Antonio. He struggled with the frequent changes in the client processes and as a result had higher than average AHT. He was put on an improvement plan and with the introduction of RE and successful adoption, his AHT went down by 25% in less than three weeks. And he also won the most improved frontline reward. This is just one example of how RE has the potential to improve the lives of so many of our frontline teammates by automating repetitive work. And we are not yet done. In phase two, we are looking at leveraging RE to improve collaboration across teams and further enhance turnaround times and adoption of RPA across the company. At 100% deployment for this client, RE solution will be self-funded through efficiency gains and customer retention. Thank you, and back to you, Ritu. Thank you, Manish. To reiterate what Manish just said, Automation Anywhere can help the front office in three ways. Improve employee productivity, by making employees more productive from the apps and devices they use every day, increased customer satisfaction, improved average handle time and first call resolution rate by simplifying collaboration across teams, and finally, fast track to ROI with minimal infrastructure investment, training, and setup costs for your enterprise. And to hear more about front office automation, I'd encourage you to watch the front office spotlight session. We'll have demos, we'll show the product in action, and we'll have more customer case studies as well. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Ritu. So what we really saw is how Ari can reduce friction in the front office, particularly where agents are working directly with customers, and it's really gonna have a huge impact on the key metrics in the front office, like customer satisfaction scores, net promoter scores, and even handling time metrics. So we saw that massive impact on what's gonna happen in the contact center. What did you take away from that, Rajesh? Kevin, I think this is incredibly exciting. What I find is customer service agents are often switching not just between two applications or five applications, sometimes it's as many as 15 applications. Can you imagine that they have a customer on the call and they have to go across these different applications, keying in the same information across all of them? All the customer is hearing is the clickety-clack of the keyboards as they're filling in all this information. RE simplifies that, it eliminates that, and it gives you that experience even from within an application of your choice. So you can embed RE within Salesforce and you have a single screen from which you can perform all the work that you need to across all the applications in the back end. That's fantastic. You know, everybody benefits from better customer service. So the impact in the front office is profound. It's gonna be not only uh, a better experience for the agent, but for the customer as well. But there are a lot of processes being automated in the back office as well, sometimes around huge ERP systems and systems of record. So what we're going to find out now is how Ari can make those back office processes run even better. We'll hear from Avi Bogtani. Take it away, Avi. Hello, everyone. My name is Avi Bogtani, and welcome to our back office session. As part of the session, I will introduce you to our back office solutions and we will discuss some of the best practices and real-world examples of how to digitally transform your back office at scale. So let's start with an introduction. The modern back office today comprises of important business functions such as finance, HR, shared services, IT, and operations that provide critical support and services to the rest of the organization. Services such as accounts payable, employee onboarding, streamlining your supply chain, resolving IT tickets, and many others are vital to an organization's day-to-day -day functioning and can impact metrics such as your bottom line and employee satisfaction. Automation is the key to delivering these services efficiently and accurately and guarantee that business professionals spend most of their time in doing value-added work and not mundane, repetitive tasks. Here are the three main goals that automation must deliver to ensure digital transformation success. First, automation should be able to break the departmental silos that exist because of the thousands of different legacy systems and applications between different parts of the organization. Connecting these applications seamlessly can drive higher efficiencies 
and employee productivity. Second, they have to process large volumes of data that exist as part of the process. The data can be structured, like in a database or Excel, in the form of unstructured content in invoices, insurance forms, onboarding forms, and others. For processing unstructured data, AI plays a vital role in extraction and processing. Third, and another critical aspect, is that automation initiatives have to scale and transform after they start. Scale is vital in ensuring that back office functions can deliver on their goals of cost, efficiency, and business resiliency. With that, I would like to introduce Russell Olson, who is the Senior Vice President of Innovations and Product Management at WebPT. Thank you for joining us, and we're very excited to have you with us. Great, thank you. I'm really excited to be here and happy to be participating in this event. Why don't you start by telling us more about WebPT and your role there? Yeah, WebPT, we are the leader in software solutions for physical therapists. So we help, uh, our mission is to help physical therapists achieve greatness in practice. And we do that through innovative technologies and solutions to help them better engage with their patients and improve patient outcomes. Russell, your organization obviously drives a lot of automation initiatives. Can you tell our audiences on how you went about doing this and some key takeaways? Yeah, I mean, the, the journey was an interesting one for sure. Uh, you know, it definitely started with uh, a manual process, right? Uh, understanding how to migrate data from, you know, one system to another. Yeah, at first, it seemed like a, a simple technology challenge, right? We, we had both databases. We have, you know, a great engineering staff. We should just be able to pipe the data from one system to the other. And, you know, it... it it came to a lot with a lot of learnings that there's a lot of embedded business logic and process and other things that the data itself wasn't you know easy enough to just to, to simply migrate. There's a lot of rules that each data uh, set passed through in its own applications. So you know we we kind of started down the path of necessity. Really, was we hired a bunch of people. We hired a bunch of temp workers. We stuck them in a room, uh, and they literally manually copied and pasted from one application to another. Uh, now, it ended up being expensive because we had to hire, you know, a bunch of temp uh, employees. Uh, but as we, you know, got into our, our planning for the future and, and kind of what's the next phase, that wasn't a scalable solution. It wasn't something that we could continue to sustain and support. And ultimately, long-term value just wasn't there. And that's where, you know, we got introduced to, to RPA and to Automation Anywhere. And, and we recognized that we could programmatically, you know, through automation, you know, bring the data over and follow the same business rules that were embedded in the applications. And, and by doing that, we're able to drastically reduce and almost essentially eliminate the temporary workers, but still achieve the, the end result of moving the data from one system to the other, really at scale. Thank you for that. Now, can you take us through the three phases of your automation journey? How you went from start to scale to transform? I love the, I love the three pillars and I love the start um, because a lot of times, just you just have to start it, right? It, it, you have to have that bias towards action. You have to take the first step, but that allows you to to see kind of the momentum and, and gain some success momentum in that, uh, which can then propel you into the transform phase. And, and really, for us, it's been kind of an eye-opening experience of looking at other processes beyond the one we started with, and then we start seeing throughout the organization a lot of repetitive, mundane processes that are not intellectually stimulating. <laughs> the, these are processes that people are, you know, downloading a spreadsheet. They're, they're manipulating that spreadsheet, you know, every week so they can produce a report. And, and most of the people don't recognize, you know, all the mundane steps that took to get to that end result report. They just know that they get a report every, every Friday, but they didn't realize it took three hours to generate that report or four hours to collect the data. You know, there's a lot of repetitive tasks that, that we really, we can get rid of uh, and, and automate and simplify and, and do it at a cost that doesn't require us to re-engineer every process, every program, you know, every workflow. And, and that's really what I'm most excited about is the ability to, you know, take, take a process and at a, and a low, relatively low cost, you know, automate and scale it and bring it back down to something that is transformative in the organization and ultimately frees up uh, people's time to go do more uh, higher value work. So what kind of benefits do your customers, your end customers see with automation? The more and more we are able to reduce costs, uh, drive more efficiencies, we're able to not only service our members better, 
but we're able to, you know, reach those next innovations, those next, uh, you know, critical thinking things that we need to do that allow us to scale and better serve ultimately our, our members. And, and so for me, that's what it's about, about automating and, and scaling some of the back office pieces is to enable us to go back to the customer and deliver a better solution. Now, another industry first from Automation Anywhere. As you heard from our CEO, we have introduced Ari, the Automation Anywhere robotic interface, your on-demand digital assistant. Let's look at how we can apply Ari to the back office use case of an IT ticketing system. An IT organization receives a ticket to provision accounts for a new hire as part of the onboarding process and provides the necessary information such as their full name, designation, etc. What you could do is using RE, IT can very easily kick off bots that automate this resource intensive and time consuming process. In this case, IT kicks off the different bots that create accounts for the new hire across applications such as 365, Service Desk, Octas, and many other. Once these tasks are completed, IT and HR get notified of successful completion of this entire process. By rethinking, how people and automation work together in a seamless, homogenous system, we can truly streamline many of the processes in the back office. So Russell, what do you think? Is Aria a technology that excites you to automate your back office? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, when I'm, I mean, we've been kind of uh, dipping our toe in this water, trying to figure out how to create this uh, attended, kind of uh, assistant bot to help our users. Um, because, you know, as we've got into it and looked at more and more process, not every process can be automated end to end. There's usually breakpoints somewhere in the phase that requires somebody to do something or a decision to be made that, that can't be done programmatically or even with AI or, or ML. And, and so, you know, we've been looking at these processes and saying, well, you know, we need an interface to help us, to help the end user have a better, you know, uh, interface with the bots. So I can have a library of bots to do different things. And then, you know, to touch a button, I can kick them off, have them perform subtasks, uh, and then, you know, string them together. Russell, thank you again for being part of the session and sharing your excitement on Ari. We look forward to our continued partnership and success. Great, thank you. In closing, I would like to invite you to our back office spotlight session, where we will go into some detailed use cases and more real world examples on how to make your back office automation a success. Thank you. Well, that was great. We heard from Russell at WebPT on how they're using automation around back office processes for IT ticketing. It's really interesting. They're a progressive customer. Now, what are you hearing about customers at large, though? You know, Kevin, it's really interesting. Uh, customers have been very successful with RPA, and they ask me, how do I now go big with RPA? And there are really two things to do simultaneously. The first is to really provide automation in the hands of all employees with a solution like RA, where you get more than that 10% engage. You give this to all the employees so they can run automation directly. And the other is to federate automation, where you can allow the finance team, the HR team, other divisions to really drive their own automation through their own uh, federated centers of excellence. This really is what's going to drive automation and scale automation at any company. It's like you read my mind. I think that we want someone on our team to take us through what it means to truly scale your RPA efforts. So now we're going to hear from Laura Delatore, who's going to talk to us about scaling RPA. Laura. Hi. Today I'm going to show you how you can scale your automation program to hundreds, if not thousands, of bots by leveraging citizen development. Now, digital natives have been disrupting Fortune 500s in an alarming pace, and they do so in part because they maximize the use of the technologies that they adopt. Now, most of these companies are already automating. Many of them are our customers. Those that are ahead of the curve are those that have a center of excellence, or COE. This is a small group of professional developers, usually in the IT department, where all RPA activity resides. Now that's great for security and bot quality, but it makes it difficult to scale because resources are so slim. So what they do is they focus on a small number of high impact projects to prove the value of automation. But what if you were to leverage business users as RPA developers or what we call citizen developers? 
Because they're closer to the business unit, they can better leverage institutional knowledge, distribute bot development and management, thereby exponentially increasing automation in your company and the ROI that comes with it. Now you can do this by removing risk and improving quality through central governance. And I'll show you what, how that works. But don't take my word for it. Gartner tells us that citizen development is already here. Thanks to SaaS tools, it's easier than ever to become a citizen developer. They say that by 2023, the active number of citizen developers at a large enterprise will be four times that of professional developers. The question becomes, how do you maximize that to your benefit? First, let's talk about some of the players in the citizen development methodology. You still start with that global COE, but their roles tweak slightly. What they're doing is they will be maintaining global governance and reporting while institutionalizing standards to everybody else throughout the organization. Then what they do is they onboard these business unit or regional COEs to really drive agility. Then their role, in addition to taking on some of the bot development and management, is to engage all employees to either use or build automation. The consumers can use our brand new digital assistant for work, ARI, or those who are citizen developers can use DiscoveryBot in Enterprise A2019 to even build bots. This is what citizen development looks like. All right, so think of it like you're scaling a mountain. You wouldn't go without your route map, your gear, or your guide, would you? Well, the same is true for automation. It takes time and preparation to scale to the top successfully. First, you wanna optimize your program for scalability. This is your route plan. What you're doing here is creating a map to guide participants. Next, you wanna engage business users to either use or build automation. To do so successfully requires using user-friendly tools for citizen developers. Then you'll be ready to expand to local governance. By creating regional or business unit level COEs, you can federate your bot development and distribute and truly scale. Now, don't worry. Thanks to Automation Anywhere, you can view progress and ensure quality all along the way. What we're doing here is helping you free up your resources so that way you can innovate on strategic automation projects. Now, there are benefits at the individual, the business, and organizational level. For starters, you can improve productivity of each employee who's participating by providing them that digital assistant for work, ARI. You can save time on mundane tasks, improve accuracy, and help the employee achieve their goals faster, which helps them focus on more creative work and of course, improve morale. At the team level, you can help these teams help themselves. They can optimize their own processes and collaborate more efficiently between front and back office. Now, if you're a specific business unit leader, for example, HR can spend more time hiring and retaining top talent. You can help customer success teams improve average handling time and customer satisfaction. Finance teams can uncover cost savings and operations teams can scale capacity on demand. Ultimately, it's all about your bottom line. It helps you provide superior customer experiences, drive more revenue, optimize labor costs, and increase capacity on demand to enable your digital transformation. Only with Automation Anywhere can you enable employee engagement in a governed model. We help you optimize, engage, and expand with confidence. Come see our Democratization Spotlight to learn more. And now we're gonna get a little more technical. I have a new guest with me, 
It's Niraj Gokhale, our Executive Vice President of Products. Niraj, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. It's a pleasure. All right. So we're going to talk about kind of the hot technologies in the market. You have cloud, you have RPA, and you have AI. And actually, some of these things work really well together. But first, let's talk about why cloud and RPA together make a ton of sense. So Kevin, as you know, we recently rewrote our new platform on a cloud native infrastructure. And that's because the RPA in cloud gives tremendous value. It's the fastest way and the only way really to be able to deploy very quickly, get it up and running, as well as scale rapidly. And by scaling, what I really mean is being able to keep up with the demands of the business and grow as the business needs it to be, as well as being able to take advantage of tremendous innovation that we are putting in our platform at a rapid pace, without having to go through an expensive and time-consuming on-prem upgrade cycle and having to wait for it for, for the users to take advantage of it. So I think together, this really cloud and RPA brings uh, a modern architecture, but also the speed of innovation to, the, to our customers. In these current conditions, People have to move very quickly, and they can't wait for those time-consuming on-premises upgrades like they could before. That's right. It's really just what, what is required today, right? That's right. Okay, so now, if you switch gears to AI, that's the other kind of hot thing. Artificial intelligence is everywhere, and you know we have the advantage of, with our single platform approach, utilizing AI across essentially everything we do. Can you? Talk about that. Yeah, in fact, the single platform approach really helps us power, use the power of AI really well. Um, all the way from discovery to automation to op optimization, what you can do is really uh, leverage AI across the board, but also leverage the data that lives in the platform inherently across the board. And that's really which what, as you know, data powers the AI quality really highly. So that's really what we do with the platform approach. So let's break it down into, into the four core elements that we have. First is discovery. Discovery Bot is our product to help uh, identify processes and recommend automation, but also implement automations. AI powers all elements of it, being able to identify patterns, being able to identify inefficiencies, as well as being able to create bots, right? If you go to the next one, which is really our uh, capture, 80% of the data, as you know, lives in unstructured or semi-structured formats. And being able to have access to that information is extremely critical for the RPA platform to benefit the customer completely. And IQBot, our solution, really allows us to do that, is bring able to uncover that information from the enterprise. Uh, all of that uses NLP and AI kind of techniques. Uh, the third one really is automate. That's the mainstay of RPA. Uh, again, AI powers significant elements of it, uh, from things like AI Sense, where we have the ability to look at the application interface, and when it changes, uh, the system can adapt to it, those changes, and reconfigure itself as needed, as well as being able to then make the bots more smarter, so that they can adapt to the heuristics, almost uh, help, help humans think like humans, if you would, and that's really where we're going with AI on, on that part of it. The last but not the least is Optimize, and Optimize clearly, as the name suggests, is rapid. It sort of uh, has tremendous opportunities for using AI, not only in being able to make the platform more efficient and resilient by being able to identify any anomalies in, in the operations, but also being able to look at the business operations and business processes itself and identifying if there's any opportunities for optimization, any issues that they're seeing, and then the bots can uh, sort of highlight those issues as well. So across the board, AI is woven as a platform element. And then the second element is we want to make sure that it is easy for business users to utilize. It's really well said because, I mean, there was a lot there. Each of our pillars utilizes AI a slightly different way. Mm -hmm. But what I really loved was the notion that you can use AI in a practical way. Because AI for too long has been kind of theoretical. Correct. And now we're applying it in very practical ways to benefit the business. And you know, since you're the technical, technical guy, you better be here with a demo. So let's show one of those practical examples uh, with the IQBot demo. Why don't you take us through it? Okay. So as we talked about, Kevin, um, AI is a fairly complicated data science. But what our goal has been is to make it really simple for business users to use it so that the power of the machine is hidden from them. Um, I'll give you a demo of IQBot in the scenario here where we're going to look at uh, being able to open a customer account. And uh, let's just take a look at it. What you will see really here is that uh, First, the business user trains the system with a sample data set, with some sample documents, and once the system learns, you'll see how easy, easy it is to do that, and once the system learns that, uh, you just run the bot on top of that, and you will see the dot bot taking all the actions. So let's just take a look. Mm -hmm. So here what we're seeing is, we are creating a learning instance, 
and we're going to essentially load a document to say where you want to learn it from, but you're also going to define what data elements you want to capture from the document. And you're going to say it's the name, the address, those kinds of things, uh, simply, and point the document to it. Then the system goes and tries to figure it out itself, but then you have the ability to go and extend it by defining certain elements that maybe the system may have missed. So here the business user is just literally highlighting it and showing that this is the name, this is where you find the address, and the system learns from that. What you're seeing here really is once the system uh, and the user have trained, you just put it in production, and the system is ready to act on real documents now. Uh, so what, here's an example of customer onboarding. What the RPA is going to do is identify the documents. It's going to classify the documents that are coming in an email, and it's going to use the rules you just trained the system on to extract information from those documents. And what you're seeing here really is the ability to take the extracted information, send it to the system, and then make a decision on it, as well as act upon at the end of it to, for example, send a welcome packet, would be the example we're doing here. So here you're seeing the system go in, and it's opening the attachments that have been classified. The first attachment is open is the proof of address. So we're going to look for the name and address information. The next attachment is going to go for is it's actually looking for a proof of identity. So let's see what document you got. You got a license, so it's going to look through the license, and that's what it's been trained on. And then the third document it's looking at really is being able to identify proof of employment. So here you have a, a document here. Once that is done, all the data gets put to the bots, and it's going to, here is an example of where we're showing that all the data that has been extracted actually comes in into a database format, and then the, the bots are going to act upon it. In this case, as it turns out, that uh, it is evaluating the applicant's risk and be able to score it, and it sent it for exception handling, but it got approved, and now it just created a welcome packet, and it's going to send it to the user. All of this, which could have taken minutes, hours, will be done in seconds here. Wow, so the before after is incredible. It's, you took all those complicated steps, you reduce it from days, hours, or whatever to minutes and seconds, which is huge as far as efficiency. Mm -hmm. People are actually happier doing their jobs here uh, when things get that efficient. But you know, the thing I'd love to ask you now is we've heard a lot about RE today. And RE is the ability for regular people in the enterprise to interact with you know, bots and kind of complicated automation. Uh, tell us about you know, how that works. How does RE work with automation in general? Right. Yeah, Ari, as you know, is a way for us to make the humans and bots collaborate better. And artificial intelligence and our RPA platform really powers all of it. All the way from discovery, where you're able to observe the user and be able to analyze what the needs of the user or the automation needs might be, to being able to expose document information, just like the example you saw right now, to Ari, as well as being able to actually have the bots work closely with the humans as well as learn from the human behavior and the bots get smarter as they watch the human uh, counterpart work harder as well as get information from them. And the last but not the least is being able to recommend to the user any anomalies or any detected patterns in the data or the business processes that RE needs to be identified for. So really the power of the platform comes together to support and extend RE significantly. That's really incredible because we were talking earlier about how AI is infused across the entire platform. The same is true for Ari. Ari is infused across the entire platform as well. Is that yes. accurate? And in fact, uh, the way I like to say it is that the platform actually is helping Ari uh, and powering it up significantly. It's awesome. All right, that was really incredible. Neeraj, thanks for being with me today. Have a great one. Thanks, Kevin. It's a pleasure. I hope you agree by now that Ari is going to change how automation gets done in the enterprise. We heard how Ari can improve not just the contact center agent experience, but the customer experience as well. In the back office, we heard from Russell at WebPT on how Ari will change the back office entirely. We heard from Laura on how you can confidently scale RPA. And finally, we got a sneak peek from Neeraj into the AI technology at work in our platform. If you're already a customer, please work with your rep on how to bring Ari to life in your company. If you're not yet a customer, we'd love to talk. Remember to check out the on-demand spotlight sessions directly after this and interact with our experts on Twitter 
using the hashtag, hashtag Innovation Day. Thanks for spending time with us today. Thank you.